amekuwa ni mshiriki ambaye ni timamo na mwenye kumakinika katika kazi ya Mungu na katika kanisa hilo amekuwa ni nguzo katika upande wa kina mama na ule ile huduma yote ambayo alikuwa inahitajika pale kanisani alikuwa anahusika moja kwa moja kama kanisa tunaomba kwamba Mungu aweze kuifariji familia awape ngufu na aweze kusimama nao wakati huu wanapoomboleza kama kanisa tumepoteza nguzo muhimu katika nyuma ya Bwana na katika huduma ya Mungu tunasidi kuwaombea na maombi ya kanisa na washiriki wote yaandamane nanyi na Mungu aende kuwabariki sema amina My father Maluko, Simamo Wave. 
watu wenye riba linafaa mpatie shukurani sababu kama si yeye maybe huyu mama mwenye malapa sasa hizi mamangu angekuwa amelala kitambo sana lakini aliniambia kitu moja usiache dada yangu kama bado akwai na nimefanya ukweli paka dakika ya mwisho bibi yangu my beloved wife stand up wave ningependa mpigie huyu shukrani sababu ni yeye amekaa na mama the last moments paka dakika ya mwisho wakati anakata roho walikuwa na yeye pamoja na semeji yangu walikuwa watu watatu lakini alikuwa mwilivu paka akaamua akaniambia Moses mama ametuacha lakini hakukuwa na any shake alijaribu sana wale na yeye amekaa na yeye for the last five years tukua na yeye mama i, mama kwa mbaya namwambia kibia umuone ukweli na kibia na kuja na muona na kaa na yeye mostali zote pia ningependa one by the pokezi kwa pokongeza anti yangu ni akilario mali huko simama huevu ni akilario huyo na yeye ni shujaa sababu amekaa na linet paka around 15 years akimchunga bila kusahau Yunis my auntie au ndio pamoja na wengine lakini mchango kubwa ulitoka kwao sana pamoja na wengine mamangu ameaga amegonjeka for 22 years biology yake nadhani itasomwa na mtasikia since 2002 up to date yeye hajakufa amepumzika hajakufa amepumzika tafadhali na hakuna mtu amemwekea dawa yoyote ni Mungu ndio amemwita wacha apumzike lakini kile ningependa ningependa mjue ingawa amelala pale tutamlaza pale ndani pale spirit yake iko hai mara mingi akiwa mgonjwa alikuwa ananiambia Musa uko wapi niambie ndio shuleni kuja nikwambie na hapo hapo mgonjwa serious alikuwa ananiambia hata kama nitaaga ninajua mimi ndio nitakuwa wa kwanza usiache watu wangu wawili na usiache hivyo ma yangu ikue kama hakuna watu na nilimwambia anti usijali hiyo nitafanya wakati alikuwa anaaga mimi nilikuwa naye paka friday lakini aliniambia kitu moja enda nyumbani for that election lakini urudi siku ya Jumatano unlete samaki mara mara pia ananiambia enda nyumbani siku ya Jumatano urudi samaki sasa usilete alafu ananiambia enda lakini nini usikuja haraka sababu najua ukisema mimi ningogoza sana utakuja usikuje kesho jumamosi ama jumapili ukuje siku ya Jumatano hiyo ndio last time ananiambia na mimi nikatoka nikaenda nyumbani because nilikuwa mmoja wao katika kura bila kujua alikuwa ananiambia enda ili uone usione nikianiaga hii mwaka kianza mwezi wa tatu hapa aliita akaniambia nitakuacha lakini hauna kazi bado au jaajiriwa kwa mambo ya serikali lakini nimeongea na ndugu yangu lazima utaajiriwa Ninaona kama hii mwaka haitaisha. Hivyo ananiambia. Ilikuwa mwezi wa tatu hapo. Nikamwambia kwa nini? Ananiambia ninajisikia mwili wangu. Lakini hivyo mwangu nimeacha. Mtu akichezea eh ayo jirani, ayo familia. Ni akichezea nitamtoma mchana na, na moto. Na hiyo ni kitu ananiambia kitu ya mwisho unapoenda tafakari yo mambo alisema amelala lakini ako ai so kama mimi yangu ni ukweli mimi sijui maybe itakuwa ukweli mama yangu ametuaga ametuacha amekuwa mgonjwa 
kwa siku mingi na ametuacha Friday nikaenda nyumbani kufika siku ya Jumamosi nikapigua simu Bibi yangu akaniambia simu akaniambia mama amekuwa wasi nikamwambia mpelekeni hapo swali hapa ogengo amekuwa maji hii ya energy sababu alikuwa anatibua huko moyi eldoret e, e, na recommendation yake ya huko ilikuwa akikuwa hivyo awekwe maji akapeleka hospitali tukaongea naye paka jioni hiyo ni mamosi kufika sande tukaongea naye asubuhi vizuri sana tukamaliza kuongea naye akaniambia niko sawa lakini kwa sauti yake hakuwa sawa ndio uko sawa kaniambia niko sawa kaniambia hata kesho nafanya nini nitaenda nyumba nyumbani kufika saa nane, nikapata simu Sande ameanza tena amekuwa tena uwasi vile kuliko vile alikuwa tukajaribu kwa nani by the consult madaktari kutoka kwa Dorot atakuwapata kwa simu tukaamua kumchukua kisi ili yuko aende huko apate matibabu ya juu niko na hakika mama yangu hakufika hospitali sababu wakati wakati nilipea simu ya kwanza ile naambiwa tumesafika karibu na hospitali wale pakaniambia wewe tulia tu angojea na ni license sababu dakika moja nilikuwa nyumbani na baadhi ya brother yangu tumbo ikamvuma mara moja nikakimbia toilet kurudi nilichukua simu nikapiga wife akaniambia ameenda na hiyo ndio ilikuwa tu hivyo kitu inaweza kuambia tumejaribu mali tunaweza yuka beth ambaye alikuwa sister yangu amejua mali anaweza kama ni hospitali ametembea na yeye ninet mwenyewe kama ni kuuza vitu ameuza ili atumie matibabu yake kumbe pesa si kitu ikifika dakika ya mwisho unasio pesa ikifika dakika ya mwisho utaiacha my friend hata kama iko hata kama kuna daktari gani unamwacha hapo so mkiwa nyumbani mtuombe lakini kitu ningependa kuambia hao watoto wake wawili wenye mabaki nitajaribu maana naweza through the support of the family siwezi weza peke yangu lakini support ya family na yule Mwenyezi Mungu nitajaribu maana naweza ili nao siku moja muache mali lile ameniachia kila siku net alikuwa analia Musa nitakuacha wapi yukia hapo sawa nitakuacha wapi hiyo ndio kadiko form niko form 2 form 3 alikuwa alia sana ndio kwacha wapi wakati nimeanza kaniambia sasa wewe sasa umaliza watu wangu wa mbabaki wapi hiyo tu ndio nilikuwa nakuambia kabla ni kete ile familia mahali msana huyu Lucy mama ile familia mahali huyu anaenda sababu ako na kwake na atuzi mfunga na mmeona hapa mbele mali anaenda kama mnajua keti ile sarakazi itaendelea muache mtoto kwao nisije nika niko huko shuleni naambiwa hii na imefanyika kama mnajua hakika mtamchunga vizuri ile itaisha ende na yeye lakini mkumbuke mkifanya tena ile kitu atarudi apate kaburi pale hata pata mamake kwa kumwambia ingia ndani ya ndani ya nyumba. Mkumbuke hivyo. Nimekuwa nikisikia ingine ingine nimejionea. Mimi mwenyewe. Kama itaendelea babangu aliahidi kama kuna shida hako na sisi. Chikasi ni chikasi ni chitendele mata.
Tiso, ti cansi di Tio Tiso, ma da...
Asante sana. Kwa majina ni Isaac, mimi ni ndugu ya Moses ambaye ameongea hapa sasa hivi. Nataka kusoma biolojia anti yangu. Leo mlala sasa hivi hapa ni anti yangu. Na naanza na bath. The late Linnet was born in the year 1959 to the late Boniface Goya and Magdalene Ogena Goya at Longo Kamagambo Kanyingombe Sub location. <coughs> she was the second born in the family of ten. Her siblings are Lucina Anyango, the late Rose Achien, Ruben Odola, Mary Awete, the late Jadida Auma and the late Pamela. Education. The late started her early education in 1966 at Matagaro Primary School, where she sat for CPE and joined high school in 1973. She attained knowledge that later made her a successful tailor and farmer. Marriage. The late got married in the year 1981 to Mr. Charles Mose Mokwa. Together they had children, namely Lucina Kemuto, Boniface Mokwa, Yuka Betha Kinyi Mose of USA, Moses Odola and Christine Morate. Co-wife to Winfreda Kemuma Mose, stepmother to Alice Mose, William Mose, Rose Mose, Barongo Mose, Jacqueline Mose, Gertrude Mose, and Dennis Mose. Sister-in-law to Anne Nyabonyi, Meshak Mokwa, Lazara Mokwa, Francisca Mora, Conceptor Nyakirario, Florence, the late Emelda, the late Masinini, Priska, Mary, Teresa, the late Kennedy Mokwa, Esther Mokwa, Omondi, Nyangaresi, Nyanchama, Mary, and Amenya. Sickness. The late enjoyed good health until the year 2002 when she was diagnosed with high blood pressure at Ram Hospital. She attended various clinics for treatment. In the year 2006, she developed stroke whereby she was treated at Christian Marian Hospital. In 2016, she was taken for further treatment at Tanwek Hospital and was diagnosed with diabetes. She was treated and was put under medication. In 2019, she was, he was, she was taken to USA for treatment and was diagnosed to have suffered from cancer. She was treated and came back and continued with treatment at Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital, Endurick. On 6 August 2002, she felt unwell and was taken to New Care Hospital, Ogembo, where she was treated and later on 7 August On 7th August, got referred to Krista Marian, where she bought to rest on arrival. May her soul rest in peace. Asante.
jambo la kwanza ili nasema ni similele kama sio da 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 mi ni ileta haya yote kati dadi ni ile ileta mauti mauti katikia kila mmoja kwetu kabla Mungu ajarudi kila mtu lazima atafanya nini atakufa lakini hapa kuna tumaini nao sisi mchanga Aliwe anasema ya kwamba wote wanaokufa katika Kristo Yesu wanae tumaini ya kwamba nao kuo. Wewe tunaombea familia, tunaombea kila mmoja wetu ili kila mmoja apate kuwa na tumaini ya kwamba siku moja utafukuka. Na Mungu akubariki wote. Kwa hiyo andika ambayo tumesoma. Kina la Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu amen amen